What's good everybody? It is your boy Ty man. We have a lot of news to cover. I'm not even gonna get into it. I literally drove three hours three hours to bring some game or well, bring some news to y'all boys so that y'all better run that like button up and y'all better on that subscribe button up because we, we going crazy for NBA 2K23 for real for real now I'm not going to waste any more time let's go ahead and get into these leaks guys so I'm pretty much going to knock all the non-important stuff out first um the WNBA version is a GameStop only so if you want to go if you want to buy that edition go to GameStop and buy it I'm not buying it but if you guys are going to buy 2K and you guys have, if you guys have PS5 or PS4, you know, just buy the hundred dollar edition or the regular single game. I don't know what to tell y'all, but that's what I say to buy if you're gonna buy it. Um, next gen 2K23 will not be on PC or Switch. So if you guys have a Switch or a PC, you will be playing the current gen version of NBA 2K23. Also, if you guys buy the one hundred and fifty dollar version of the game, you will receive the Game Pass. This is not worth it. Do not buy it. Just letting you guys know, do not buy it. I'm not gonna go no further into this topic. Just don't buy it, okay? So throughout the course of these next two months, we will be seeing a lot of news about the gameplay trailer, the Jordan Challenge, which you guys don't know is the challenge of two, from 2K11, where you pretty much you play iconic moments in Jordan's career, and they basically just, you know, I feel like that would be a good reward for VC, so I think it's kind of a W anyway. So um, we were, obviously they have my NBA, which nobody cares about, obviously. Um, my team and my career in the city is the only thing people care about. So gameplay, every, honestly, all of these topics are W except for the my NBA because nobody cares about the my NBA. But I can, I'm getting good feeling this year, regardless of the if the game is trash or not. I'm gonna be buying it regardless. Yes, I'm one of those people, but you know that I, that's just me. I I'm, I like to make content on the game, so I'm gonna do it. Now, guys, this is our first glimpse of gameplay right here. It is lit. I want to say Little Dirk. It is Little Dirk playing NBA 2K23. There's more gameplay on it, but I'm going to show you guys like sh the shot meter and all that. There's a scoreboard. Scoreboard is the exact same, but um, from the looks of it, it doesn't look much, very much different. I mean, it really does not look much different at all. So you know, it's kind of an L for that. But for the most part, I'm kind of I'm excited for NBA 2K23. I feel like it's going to be a fun game. I'm pumped for it. So yeah. Also, guys, if you guys want, if you guys do plan on buying the $200 version of NBA 2K23, this is what you guys get: a skateboard, uh, or in a framed art print, and a ticket. That's pretty much it. I still don't think it's worth it. Um, I just don't think it's worth it at all. Just so, if you want it, go for it. But if I were you, I would just get the base version of the game or the $100 edition. Leave it at that, honestly. So basically, if you guys want to pause the video and look, this is what you get for each version of the game. So on the very, very far right is the regular version of the game in the, w in the WNBA version. And on the far left is the most expensive version. I'll be buying the $99.99 version. So, but if you guys want to pause the video and look at all that, you guys more are more than welcome to. Go ahead and pause it now. Here's your chance to do it. I'm going to give you out two more seconds. Now we're moving on. <laughs> So this right here, guys, is the play now screen for NBA 2K23. Um, it does look they did work on this a little bit, you know. Uh, I like it because you know it looks pretty cool to me. It looks pretty simple, not pretty straightforward. I like it. It gives me 2K. It gives me like 2K12, 2K13 vibes with the player spinning the ball and all that stuff like that. So that's pretty good. I actually like that. That's pretty. That's a nice touch to it for people who play play now. It's a nice little touch for you. Now this right here is the bread and butter, actual gameplay and actual shot meter in NBA 2K23. Now I know a lot of people are gonna be like, shot meter is garbage, shot meter is garbage. Now listen to me. If the shot meter is good, I have no problem personally using it. You know, I use the shot meter in 2K20 uh, in 2K23. I used in 2K23. It was pretty it was fine with me. I liked it. I only used it on next gen though. On current gen I did not use it. On next gen I did because it was way bigger as easy to see. And I just felt like you know you being tired a lot, like if you dribble a lot and then shoot, it slows your shot down. I didn't really like that. But you know, it's just to counter people who cheat. So that's all that's for. But yeah, I think the shot me is a W. It gives me 2K18 vibes and also 2k20 and the reason i say it's 2k18 vibes because if you guys play 2k18 the meter was slanted to a side a little bit but the length of the meter is 2k20 and 2k19 so if you guys look at the length of the meter it's the same length as 2k19 and 2k20 but the the way it's tilted is 2k18 so it's 2k18 and 2k19 mixed together for the meter that's pretty much all that meter is i think it's a w a lot of haters in the comments section saying who uses that meter anyway people use meter and yeah, that's just the reality people are going to use meter okay that's a 2k feature that's going to be in the game so don't knock people down for using the meter shit i might well use i might even use it this year i don't even know yet we're gonna find out 
Here's another little clip of the shop meter. Um, it's not the best meter, but you guys can barely see it in this. But you know, with the other clip I just showed you, it wouldn't matter. But here's a slow, pretty much a slow motion version of it, like a little pump fig of it. Not too much of it. People still hating on it, but you know, it's just shop meter, guys. It's not the biggest feature in the game, so don't pay that too much mind. You guys, that is all the news I have for 2K23. There's more, obviously, like the cover athlete and all that, but I feel like that does not need to be explained because I'm pretty much going into the cover athlete as I'm going with these. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm excited, guys. I'm excited for 2K23. You know, we have pretty much the in a month the hype is going to be real with the gameplay trailers and all of that. The final week, the, the countdown to 2K23, that final week, so much leaks, so much stuff, so much people getting the game early like last year. It's gonna, it's gonna be crazy fun. Everybody's gonna be crazy hype and all of that. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you're new. One road to 100k subscribers. Run this video up. I drove three hours for y'all. But it's been your boy Ty. I'm out. Y'all boys and girls stay safe.